Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to play coins that are going into price discovery or about to um, head into price discovery that have no data um, prior to see at which levels we can, you know, take profit and if you're looking to short at which levels to short. Um, so to do so, um, we're going to take a look at this coin, you know, Aptos, um, APT, very popular when it broke all time highs. So here was the all-time high, right? It then continued to go parabolic. Here it broke all-time highs again, right? Went parabolic. And when you have no data, and for this coin, this is the Binance chart. This wick is an anomaly. Um, so I'm not even going to take a look at that and discredit it. But I have another chart for this coin already charted. And we're going to compare afterwards. But... What you're going to do is you're going to use Fib extensions, okay? Um, Fibonacci levels to find those levels of take profits and resistance that don't have, you know, that we don't have data for. So on the drop down here, this trend based Fib extension level, you're going to place this at a swing low point here. So I'm using this. Um, you can use closer data if you want like this here this here but I'm, I'm I'm using this level here right and then we're gonna go to this area here right now I'm I'm excluding this data this never happened this is what I'm working with so if I want to see like hey where are we going to take profit if we break out from this level there was a bull flag forming and then we broke out right where are we gonna play so here's the swing high point so we're going to start our cursor here. Here's the swing high. And here is the swing low. Okay. Swing high and swing low. So you take your fibs from swing high to swing low. And these are the fibs that you get. One sec. this correct okay so as you can see once this broke out right here were your next logical levels of take profits and resistance right so this level here right you'd have taken profit it broke out flipped it to support went higher Right, and then reject it at this fib level here. Right, and then it's re it's respecting fibs. Here was that range that was formed. Right, reject, support, reject, support, and then went back up, rejected, and it's basically uh, respecting these fib levels. Okay, this is what I had for APT on on Bybit that I actually you know it played to a T. I gave these shorts in the Discord um, that I'm in, um, so it played perfectly, bouncing off fib levels perfectly as well, and rejecting off of them. Um, so that's how you play them. We'll take a look at some other coins right now that you know that did go into price discovery that uh, respected fibs perfectly. So let's take a look at OP. Let's actually remove this. Let's look on the daily. So trend-based FIP extension. Let's start the swing low level. So here. Okay. Swing high. And swing low. Right, so if we just had this data and this swing low, right, you can see once we broke all time highs, it's rejecting at this FIP level here, respecting, and then going higher. Now, what if we didn't use these levels here, right? Let's go ahead and take it from here, right? 
to here. This was our swing high. Let's say this doesn't exist currently. And swing low. Right. Look, these were your next logical levels to take profit if you were long or you bought down here. Right. Notice how it's respecting fibs perfectly. Like these wicks are unavoidable, but the candle closes. Look at those. Right. It's been respecting. Right. You can draw more fibs if you want. Let's say you want to start from here, right, to there. To swing low. Right. Once it broke out again, see, the 618 fib never fails. Rejected. You could have got back in at the three, uh, 0 0.382 fib. And then so on and so forth. So once this coin breaks all time highs, that's how you find levels to possibly short and to TP if you did long, you know, buy down here or here or here or wherever. You use FIB extensions. Now if we look at LDO, let's see somewhere that has actual data. So trend base fib. Here is where we're gonna start a cursor. Here, this coin has not gone into price discovery yet. Okay. So here is swing high. Here is swing low. Right? You could have found out where to place your TP levels and where to possibly short. Right, if you shorted these FIB levels, now the next FIB level is going to be, you know, closer to here, and then 3.57. Now we could have placed our, let's say you wanted to start the level from here, right, to here's your swing high. swing low. These are your next levels to TP on, right? So if you had, you know, let's say you bought down here at support. Okay. You would have TP'd here and you would have TP'd here. Rejected perfectly from it. You could have shorted 2.67 and it got a nice move down. So now if we are able to flip this level 2.67 your next, you're looking at 2.90 next. However, we have data already here, right? This is your next level of resistance, 2.8. Because we have data, we don't really need the fibs, in my opinion, right? So this is your next level of resistance, in my opinion. So once this is flipped, then you're looking at this one, but you also have you know, resistance here, this is the, the last high, local high. So once this is flipped or this broken out, then you look at 3.13 and so on and so forth. So that's how you deal with coins that are going into price discovery. Um, you just use the FIB extensions and then you can use, you know, FIB retracement levels on where to get into coins. Um, that's pretty much it. Thanks everyone.